Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. It's been a while since I've done one of these SeaTech CCS adventures, and I just wanted to come and see if there's been any change on this station here. You'll recognize this uh, Francis Energy Station. I've been here many times over the previous 18 to 20 episodes, however many I've done. They never work. <laughs> these these particular stations never work now those over there across the way those will work every time but the difference is these are the what I call the high power BTC chargers um, these over here are I think they're TELUS power yeah now these I never have a problem with these these always work but we're just going to see if anything's changed. I'm going to try each one of these stations and just see if they happen to work now or if it uh, still doesn't work with this adapter. So we're going to go POV here and we will see how it goes. So I can't poke around too much because this little camera will overheat. It is about 105 degrees out here right now. So let's go ahead and get this thing tried. First of all, I'm going to turn on the adapter so it can be booted up. It takes about 5 to 10 seconds to boot up. I am going to plug this in to the car. Okay. And now I'm going to tap my RFID card and here we go. Account not found. What? Okay. So that's an interesting problem. Let's uh, go ahead and check that out. I check the app and my account is definitely good standing and my card is on the account. So that must be a communication error on the part of that station. So we've moved over here to slot number two. We're going to go ahead and give it a try here. Uh -oh. Plug that in. Okay. Authorizing payment. No account found again. Weird. Let's go ahead and try to activate it through the app here. So we are at station 59. Connector A. Keep the vehicle. Okay, that seems like it started before it should have. Maybe I should have had the plug plugged in before I initiated charge. I'll give this one a second chance. Yeah, so you can see my account's in good standing. Obviously, it initiated the there's something wrong with their back-end system where my RFID card's not working. So let's go ahead and stop this because we know it's going to fail. Well, I'm going to go ahead and plug in first. Plug in. And now I'm going to activate it on the app here. Okay, let's see what happens this time. I'm gonna bet we're gonna have to move to the third one. Charge failed, proximity error. So last time that happened, there was a I think there was a cover open in the in the machine cabinet area, but whatever. 
Let's try stall number three. So here we are at stall number three. Uh-oh, and it's uh, unavailable. So I guess we're moving again. Let's, uh, before we move down here, let's just see that it's available. It is available, okay. Guess we're moving to stall number four. Here we go with station number four. Go ahead and plug this bad boy in first. And then we're at 89. Got to find station 89. I didn't find station 89. Okay, there we go. Initiating charge. Let's see what happens here. Oh, got some clicks. Don't tell me this thing's gonna charge. I just told everybody it wasn't gonna charge. Uh-oh. Got a red light down here. Car says charging stopped in there. And if you can see here, we got a red light showing. So it's definitely not going to charge for some reason. I do not know that reason. It's so windy. Sorry, guys. I do not know the reason why it's not going to charge because it hasn't told me yet. I have to let this time out and it will give an error code here. Vehicle gen signal removed. That's a new one. Okay. Maybe there was a timeout involved. We'll go ahead and try it again. Okay, so got that plugged in, going to start charging. Okay, that all happened pretty quick, so there should definitely be no timeout in my, there should be no timeout by my fault anyway. My camera is getting extremely hot on my forehead, I can feel it. Okay, the machine's clicking again. We still got a blue light on the car. And now we got a green light. Oh, it went back to blue. And now it went to red. Oh. So close. What is going on? I kind of wished I had my, my computer here to record what is happening here. I don't have my computer with me today to record this nonsense because I didn't expect any of them to even try to work because they never do. Now, I would put money that I can go over to those and they will work the first time. So, all right, sorry guys, my POV camera finally overheated, but you can see here it did show the same error just a minute ago. It said something about a, a gin signal, which I have never seen before. So, what we're gonna try is, I have another adapter. I have about seven or eight of these things now. We're just gonna try another adapter. Uh, do I have another one with me though? I think I do. Oh yeah, there we go. We're gonna try another adapter just to see 
that it's not a faulty adapter here. So stand by and I'll switch it out. So the little camera's still overheating, so we're just gonna do this with the uh, that one. So sorry y'all can't see as well, but you saw at the others what I was doing. So here we go. I'm gonna plug this bad boy in one more time here. This is the uh, other adapter. This is not the same adapter. We're gonna plug that in and we are going to quickly say initiate. Now, the machine says initiating. Here, let me bring y'all over here. The machine says initiating. It's clicking. The, uh, this is blue. The car clicked and turned green but then it goes back to blue and now it's gonna go red. So, now we know that it's not an adapter error, that it is something, well, it could still be an adapter error, but it's not anything physical. It could be like uh, in the software and it could be these stations, and which it probably is likely this station. These always have problems working isolation test failed is what it says this time so just to see that it works I'm gonna try my Chatamo adapter here before I leave so let's go ahead and try that it is so hot out of here so we're gonna quickly try the Chatamo adapter after I wiped the sweat out of my eyes it's ridiculous that camera's gonna overheat soon so kind of have to hurry if this works I'm not gonna let it run for a whole minute because I don't want to pay the dollar and something charge but here we go let me turn around here so you can see me plug this in you have to plug it in the right way okay it's latched okay it is plugged in we're gonna hit Chatamo on the machine. Now, we're gonna hit Chatamo on the phone. Okay. It's initiating. Oh, sorry, there's an extra button. You have to make sure your phone, your vehicle is plugged in and then you hit Chatamo. So now the Chatamo is plugged in and it's probably going to work. The car clicked. I got the green and it's not going back to red. So there we go. Good old trusty Chatamo is working. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop here so I don't get the charge because we get the point Chatamo is working. Just for fun, before I leave, I'm going to run over there to one of those stations and just prove to you that they work every time on the CCS adapter. So now I'm back on the other camera because now this one's cool and the other one's hot. So let's go ahead and see here. You can see this is the one. This is the trusty one. And we're going to use the uh, CCS adapter. The only thing on this one, the CCS cable is so thick. It is a bear to move around, but let me go POV real quick and uh, we'll try it out. So here we go. We are going to go ahead and plug in first. Oh, these cables, man. Okay, plug in first. And then I'm going to go to the app and tell it what station I'm at. It usually starts the first time. Now there's some clicking going on. And I got a green light over here. Oh, it went blue. And then red again. What the heck? So the machine, it has the state of charge. 
and it has the voltage, but it's not delivering any current. Maybe we timed out. Let's go ahead and uh, stop here. I just used my RFID card over here and it said authorization successful. Nothing's happening yet. Except I'm um, smoldering. Hmm. Okay. Let's try again here. Okay, we had a beep waiting for EV response. We got some clicks. The car clicked. I think this is the going to be the money shot here. Oh, we got a red light again. What the heck? This has never happened before. See, the machine booted up like it thinks it's charging. But the car has a red light now. I wonder if the software in the car, since one of the later updates, has screwed this adapter up. That's a possibility. That it may be the car and not the adapter here. We'll have to check on this, but uh, no success with the CCS today. All right, guys, sorry for the uh, air conditioner noise, but I really need to have it on and turned up right now. Um, so it was a weird time today. The BTC charger, the taller ones, it acted like it wanted to charge that last one down there on the end but then it gave me that weird error um, said something about some kind of signal so that was different and now the stations over here on this side that used to always work with the CCS adapter aren't working for some reason so I haven't changed the firmware in my adapter so this is leading me to believe that maybe the Tesla update physically changed something in the charging uh, program and now the adapter is not going to work until I get another update. So that means next week I'm probably going to have to come back and use my computer out here to capture that error code and send that back to the uh, technicians at the CTEC or the other company that took over. I'm not sure how that works anymore. I'm going to have to contact my person at SeaTech and see who I'm supposed to talk to now since they had that uh since they had that change. But yeah, I think there was a change in the Tesla software that screwed with the adapter. So, I'm going to look into this and uh next week I'll come out here and bring my computer and we'll do some more testing and email CTEC and we'll see if we can get this resolved here. But thanks for watching today's episode. It is very hot outside and I still got an hour to drive home. So I'm going to head home and I will see y'all in the next one.